Hi guys and welcome to this video, a continuation of the further mass units 3 and 4, four uh, core data analysis on time series data. Yes, I almost forgot that's old age at work for you. Hopefully this video finds you well. Now, it's building on previous video. The last one I did was on moving means, which I have to say I think was one of my best I've done today. It's the only one I've done today and uh, there are others for this whole course. If you haven't already done so, can you do me an honour uh, and the favour please of clicking that little doohickey in the corner. It allows me to know you're watching. Okay, YouTube is fabulous but um, unfortunately it's also nice to get some sort of positive feedback. So leave a comment below if you can at some point in the video to let me know what you thought of the video. Hopefully it's good. Um, I think we're pretty much done. Oh, massguru.com is where you can easily sort and search and find all of these videos with downloadable notes as well. That's all the plugs done. Let's get on with the content. By the end of this lesson, hopefully we'll understand why we smooth data to get a trend line. There we go. Understand what it means to be a median, which is effectively middle, because if I go into a uh, clothing store and buy a medium, then it's in the middle, we would hope. Uh, understand what it means to smooth by moving medians and apply the concepts to be able to describe the trends for a time series plot. So in previous lessons, we've looked at random fluctuations and we've looked at the idea of trying to smooth things out. Those bubbles, that my little heartbeat, uh, really don't help us particularly. So if we can find a way to sort of smooth them, and then we can maybe see some sort of trend line, an increasing trend or a decreasing trend. Now this is a recap all the way from year eight mathematics and we've done mean, median, mode and range before and I love the two of them, mode because it's most common and median because it sounds like medium which is the one in the middle. So in this particular instance, you are going to find the middle value. Now that's very, very important. There is a distinction here. You're not finding the middle point. Much like we did with mean smoothing, where you take a series of data items and you add them together and divide by how many there are. This one here is slightly easier, but has elements of tricks for you. And here we go, here are our tricks. So first things first, what I need to do is realize or get you guys to realize that when you do median smoothing, you are looking at median smoothing, both the horizontal and the vertical axis, right? And a lot of people get this wrong and they get confused. So you are gonna take groups of three points horizontally and look at where that median is and three points vertically and see where that median is as well. So we're looking for the middle value. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at the first one. We have this and we have this and we have this value here horizontally, all right? We have one, two, three. Which of those points horizontally is in the middle? Well, hopefully it is this point here. Now, why is that the case? Well, they've given us the numbers one, three, and four. And which one of those is in the middle when we put them in order? Well, it is the number three. Now, the good thing about median smoothing is you're always going to have that middle point. You just choose three points and it's going to be the middle one. Why? Because these values along the x-axis are already in order for you. So you're just going to do groups of three, choose the middle one, work it out. Next three, choose the middle one, work it out. Next three, choose the middle one, do the y values and work it out. So in this situation, we have the number three. Now what the textbook suggests you do, and I also suggest you do, is you draw a dotted line through that in very light pencil. Because as you can imagine, with a much bigger graph, things get confusing if you've got dotted lines all over the place. So if you do it in light pencil, you can rub it out and life is good. So we've done our horizontal centering, our vertical centering is exactly the same. We have the numbers one, three, and four, and which one is the center? Well, it's actually going to be this one here. So that one is the center vertically. I draw another dotted line and guess where I put my three median smooth point? Oh yes, where they cross. And believe it or not, that's it. That's three median smoothing. Now you can do five median smoothing where you do five values and you find the middle and five values vertically and you find the middle. But the general idea is that. So let's have a look here. Construct a three median smooth plot of the time series shown. Well, it says opposite. It's obviously below. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to do three median smoothing. 
So we start off by looking at our first three points. One, two, three. Which one of those is the middle? Well, obviously January, February, and March don't make any sense to me, but if we number those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, then we now know the middle value must be February because we're looking at the middle of one, two, and three. So there we go. There is my dotted line through that point. What do we do now? We find the middle value of the three vertical. Can we do that? Well, this point here seems to be the lowest, then it's this point here, and that seems to be the highest. The middle value seems to be the one that crosses through there, and so I am now going to do a blue dot, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is my median smoothing for that one point. Yay, I'm finished! <laughs> no, I'm not, because having done February, I'm now going to smooth around March. What does that mean? Well, March, there is one of my points, which means I need one one side and one the other. And so I repeat it again. Where is my middle horizontally? It is March, so there is my dotted line through March. Where is my middle point vertically? Well, this one seems to be the lowest. This one seems to be the highest. This one there seems to be the one in the middle. So I'm gonna do a dotted line through there and do my red, uh, sorry, my blue dot for my new median centered point. Let's get rid of all of this, see what I mean? It's a pain. But there we go, there's my second point. Guess what we do next? Yes, we repeat the process. So now we are at April. So we are trying to do April. So there is one point in April, there is another point, and there is another point. Now do you notice we're overlapping points? It's not a problem, we're just trying to smooth this out. So we know the center point is April, so I'm gonna draw a vertical line through that one for the moment, just easier for me to rub out using my display. And which one is the middle point? Well, this one here is the lowest, this one here is the highest, this one here seems to be the middle point, so I'm gonna draw a line through there, and I'm going to do my blue there, and once again, we are finished with that one there. That's annoying, because it just rubbed out that point, so we'll try again, come on computer. Be nice. And then we go on to May. And yes, we do May in exactly the same way. So I'm gonna choose my three points. There's the center one in May, one on one side, one on the other, and let's see. So we know my center line is gonna be through here somewhere. Where is my mid middle point? Well, this is my lowest. That seems to be my highest. This one here is in the middle. So we draw a horizontal line and do my dot. And we just keep repeating the process step by step, by step, we're on June, there, there, and there. So we chose the middle point on June and one either side. We know the middle now is gonna go through June. And then we know that this is my lowest, this is my highest, there we go. And it turns out that that ends up to be my smooth point as well. Now guys, I could spend the rest of this video doing this, but guess what? I'm actually not because it's going to take some time to do that. Right, but those are my three median smooth data. And we can go on, believe it or not. Yes, it now wants us to repeat the process with a five median smooth. Now again, when we have five points, we can't do the five median smooth for February because we've got one point on the left, but there is no other point there. So we have to be careful which one we start with. And when we do five median smoothing, we start with something like March. So highlighting March, one, two, three, four, there are my five points. March is in the middle, that's why we've started. So horizontally, if you remember, it's nice and easy for me. But this is where life gets interesting now because I've got to find my third highest point. Well, this is my lowest, this is my second lowest, this point here seems to be my third highest. And so if I look at where they cross, that was dreadful, it's gonna cross here so there is my point. Rub out all my construction and make sure that it's clear. And there is my first five median smooth point. What point are we gonna move on to now? April, yep, so there's April, there's one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so we've got that middle point at April, two on the left and two on the right. So where is my middle value horizontally? It is through April, that's why we're doing it. Where is my middle point vertically? Well, that seems to be the lowest, the next lowest, there we go, this one here. So I can draw a horizontal line through there. 
and there is my noob five mean smooth point. Let's get rid of all my construction lines and we'll do another couple of points just to make sure you know what you're doing. We've done April, we're now gonna move on to May. There is my center, one, two, three, and four. And so there is my center, thank you very much. Horizontally is so easy, isn't it? It's the vertical ones. But do you notice I always start at the bottom and go one, two, three. So there is my bottom, there is my next one, here is my next one. Draw a line through that and put this point here. I don't know about you, but it looks to be that my five mean, uh, sorry, my five median smoothing is actually seemingly smoothing things a lot, lot nicer than three median. So we'll do one more, so let's do June. One, two either side. We know to draw a line through here. Thank you very much. This is my lowest. There's my second lowest. This is my third lowest. There we go. Drawing a line through that point, putting it there and deleting all my construction lines. And actually, if I was to continue doing this, it seems to be a much nicer line to be able to do. We could then go on and do our least squares regression line of the points that we had created. Obviously, you would need to fill in a table of all of the points to be able to do that. Some VCAR questions just to sort of highlight how they do this in exam situations, but there's nothing more to median smoothing than that. Rightio, let's see what it comes up with. So, the time series plot below shows the minimum rainfall recorded at a weather station each month plotted against the month number, where month number one is January, two is February, and so on. Now, one of the interesting things I've noticed is they actually start the graph here at zero. Some of the graphs start at one, but in this one, I quite like the fact that it started in zero. Uh, what else does it say? Rainfall is recorded in millimetres. Thank you very much. Yep, rainfall is recorded in millimetres. And the data was collected over the period of one year. We saw that five median smoothing has been used to smooth the time series plot above. Oh, kid ducky. Thank you very much. The first four smooth points are shown as crosses. One, two, three, and four. They've already done four for me. Complete the five median smoothing by marking the smooth values with crosses on the time series plot above. Okay, ouch, that is gonna take some time. Now, the thing with all of this is you've gotta do it relatively quickly, but accurately. And so I'm gonna delete some of my construction lines. Let's highlight if we can. So this is my one. We're doing five median smoothing, one, two. So there's my center one, two to the left and two to the right. Yep, so there is my center one. We do a line there. This is my lowest, second lowest, there is my third highest, or the one in the middle, and so I am now gonna put a cross here. All right, now you have to make sure that when you do these, you do it accurately, or as accurately as you can, because they will be checking this and they will not mark off if they're not accurate. So we've now got this point, two to the right, two to the left, draw my line, there is my center, here is my lowest, there is my second lowest, that there seems to be my next lowest, and so I'm going to do a dot there. Oh no, not a dot, we'll change that to a cross, because they've already done crosses, and the question did say to mark with crosses. I'm gonna leave that coloring in there for the moment. All right, now we're gonna do this one here, uh, which gives me these five points, and so one, two, three, there's my center there. My lowest, my next lowest, this is my other lowest, so I would assume that that's gonna go there, there's a cross. Let's rub out all my construction marks. All right, sorry guys, I'm gonna to have to just leave that highlighting in there because it's gonna annoy the life out of me, but there's not too much I can do about it. And finally, this is the last one we're gonna do, all right? Because remember, two points on the right, we can't do. And so we can only do one more now. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna draw the center line through here. Thank you very much. Which one's my lowest point? It's that one. Next lowest is this one here. And I think this one here is my next lowest. And so it's gonna go through there. I'm gonna do a cross and lo and behold, trying to rub out, whoops, let's actually repeat that. Let's go and erase um, some of this stuff here. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, there are my five median smooth points adding to the graph. Here was a multiple choice question used for this. The wind speed of a city location is measured throughout the day. Now, if you saw my previous video, you'll have seen this example used. It was a two part question. The time series below shows the daily maximum wind speed in kilometers per hour over a three week period. The seven median smooth maximum wind speed. So seven median smooth. I'm gonna zoom that in. Seven median smooth. Where did it want it to be centered for day four? 
So one, two, three, four. There is day four. I'm looking for seven median. So that means I'm going to have three points on one side and three points on the other. So one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so there we go. So this was my point that I'm going to draw my vertical line through for the moment. Now, what I'm going to do is find my, well, if it's seven points, then it's going to be the fourth uh, dot up from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four is going to be here. And then this is going to be my point there. And it says the seven median smooth maximum wind speed in kilometers per hour for day four is going to be closest to. And as far as I can see, the answer would be 30. D. And this is a, an exam question from 2019. In the time in minutes that Liv ran each day was recorded for nine days. These times are shown in the table below. All right, let's move it up because we can now see the values. The time series plot below was generated from the data, thank you. Both three median smoothing and five median smoothing are being considered for the data. Both of these methods result in the same smooth value on day number. Ooh, now, that's where life is disgusting. Three median smoothing. Okay, so... <laughs> Three median smoothing, one, two, three. So we are going to end up with that point there and that point there. So we're gonna do a kiss here and then we're gonna move on. So we're now gonna highlight that point there, which means we are looking at this being here and that one, two, three. So that's going to be a cross there. And I think this is more sort of a time thing now just to see how quickly you guys can actually do this stuff. I can't really see how else this is going to work. There, and three, that one's going to be there. So obviously I'm going through this a lot quicker now, just to try and work out what is happening. So we're now there, let's do a cross, that's this one here. So we've got a vertical line through there, one, two, that's the middle one there. So we do a cross here, let's delete some of this working out now. Thank you. Uh, the next one is going to be at this point here with those points there. So there and here, which is going to be a cross. Now, again, there may be a quicker way of doing this. And if there is, by all means, please let me know. Because at this moment in time, that feels like this is taking forever. And I don't like taking forever to do exam questions, particularly multiple choice questions. And then finally, we've got this point here. That's going to be my three done. So in fact, that point is going to end up here. So there we go. That is my three mean, uh, sorry, median smoothing done. And what do we do? We now repeat it for five median. Yes, I know. Yay, 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 yay. So one, two, three, four, five points. So we have the center here. One, two, three is going to put, uh, so changing color is going to be one point there. And so repeat. Let's get rid of one of those there. And now we highlight for this one here, one, two, three, four, five, which means my center is here. And let's see where the middle point is. One, two, three, that's gonna be one, two, three there. Do a cross and delete that point there and highlight the next one across that one there. Thankfully, we're almost out of the woods for this one. So this is going to be my line here and I'm looking for one, two, three. That's that one there. So cross. Notice none of them are overlapping at this point in time, but in my diagram is getting more and more confusing. So where do we get to? So we're now going to do one, two, three, four, five. Thankfully I'm almost done. And this one's here and one, two, three, which is that one there. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I found my point because that's where it's going to be, which will overlap on day six and day six is my answer. Now again, there may have been a quicker way of doing this. Who knows? I certainly don't at this moment in time, but if you do, leave a comment below. Well, that last question was probably the most complicated of all of them, but I think we are pretty much done here with a smoothing a time series plot using moving medians. Thank you so much for watching. I'm about to move on to seasonal indices, and that is going to be one doozy of a lesson. It's quite long, um, but uh, it is actually worthwhile and probably the most interesting part of this course so far. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, can you subscribe? It would be greatly appreciated if you could. If you could spread the word as well to all of those VCE groups out there to let people know there is another free resource out there that people can use. Hopefully, explain pretty well if I do say so myself. All right, I'm done. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure spending time with you. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. All right, until then, take care. Bye-bye.